what are the different roles or what are the different responsibilities within cloud so cloud is a very big space uh, it is an entire universe you can say so within cloud there are different roles different responsibilities and different people are assigned for those responsibilities so which role has what sort of responsibilities and how much is the average pay and you know which role has coding which has uh, less coding more coding and all of the detailed explanation on the different roles and everything i have collected all these information it took some time but i did collect all of them and i have listed them so i have discussed everything in this video this video might be long because it has a lot of details in it but do watch the video to the end because you will be getting a detailed picture of what cloud looks like what the different roles in cloud looks like and a lot more and all of your doubts will get cleared so do watch the video to the end and if you've not yet subscribed to the channel guys please subscribe it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to make this content so please do support us in this and with that being said let's get started i have my laptop here with me and i will be giving out or uh, reading out the typical details of each and every cloud role that is there uh so do keep watching and i assure you that by the end of this video you will have a clear picture of the entire cloud domain and then uh, you will be able to better decide that if you want to make a career in cloud then in which domain you should look forward to okay so keep watching so the very first role is that of a cloud support engineer now uh, cloud support engineers are majorly those people who resolve you know whenever we face some issues that are there on cloud we are not able to access something or something else has happened then we call a customer support or something uh, someone like that and we just get our all queries get resolved so these are those people who help us uh, you know uh, whenever we as consumers or as developers or anyone whenever we go and we use cloud and we face some issue on cloud we reach out to the cloud support engineers who are sitting there having all the knowledge about it and they will help us better uh, understand and get out of that issue it looks like it's a very heavy job because you know you need to know all of the cloud platform which is in itself a very big thing but uh, you know the support role has been divided into l1 l2 and l3 and i have discussed this in the video of development or support if you have not yet watched that video do watch and then you will get to know more about what support role is uh, all about so in that video i have explained what l1 l2 l3 is so i won't tell you entirely what it is but you need you know that you know first the query reaches to an l1 support support engineer then it goes to l2 and then to l3 so uh, in that way whenever you are appointed as a support engineer from the very beginning when when you are a fresher and at that time you join in as an l1 support engineer and if you like that role and if you want to you know further make your future in that then you can also go on to becoming l2 or even l3 so yeah that is how this uh, cloud support engineer works now for a cloud support engineer the level of coding required is very less very minimal and you know freshers with no experience or maybe one or two years of experience they are the people who actually are given this job but majorly freshers are given this job of you know providing this support to other people if you say that it is it uh, suitable for beginners then yes it is you just need to go through a certain uh, cloud functionality and you will be trained of course such certain issue comes how you need to resolve them and so on so yeah that's all about cloud support engineer if we talk about the salary then the then the average salary that a cloud support engineer can expect uh, is from 3 lakh till 20 lakh so, or even more So yeah that's how much a cloud support engineer earns and next we move on to our next role that is the role of cloud developer now who is a cloud developer so a cloud developer is a software engineer typically like you like me uh, who actually understands what the customer needs and does the coding as per the customer's needs so there can be uh, app de development required or there can be some apis that need to be developed and so on and so forth that are to be hosted on cloud or you know you can directly write the code on cloud okay just like uh, so you can just go and you can log into your cloud vm and then you can write your code there so this is the work of cloud developer cloud developer is a software developer or a code developer who is not actually working on his uh, on premise system but who is working on the system or the vm that is hosted on cloud so that is the difference just uh, nothing major but whenever you build a code it sits on your local device but when but if you are a cloud developer then your code does not sit on your local device but it sits on the device that is there on cloud so that is the basic difference between a uh, normal a developer uh, and a cloud developers so cloud developers are the people who are responsible for the coding bit and uh, so the if we take that uh, do we require coding yes if you want to become a cloud developer then you need to know uh, coding and uh, majorly you know languages like java dotnet python you need to know all these coding languages that are there now even here freshers are assigned because uh, you know anyone who wants to pursue their career in the development bit and also wants to pursue it on cloud then you can always go in for cloud developer as it is a very promising department because you know recently as i have said in my previous video also there is a huge demand for you know business owners and everyone moving on to cloud and starting up their businesses directly from cloud so they they require cloud developers like you 
So the average salary, average starting salary, I would say will range from five to 10 lakh and this will keep on increasing as per your number of years of experience and uh, how better you are and what is the requirement. It, if it is a service based company, then the salary will be a bit low. If it is a startup, then they will pay you, they might pay you a lot more and so on. So these are some things for cloud developer. Uh, now we move on to the next role that is of a cloud administrator. So who is an administrator? An administrator or an admin is someone who just looks after, you know, whatever environment is already created on cloud. So say for example, uh, there is a customer who wants to migrate. So an admin knows which, serve, which system should be migrated onto what and how it should be migrated also once the systems are migrated and now the cloud environment is up and running for a particular client then you know how the system should need to perform is their performance good are they or is it performing you know not as per expected management bit of your cloud infrastructure of your cloud landscape all of this is done by a cloud administrator they are the main people who are responsible for the configuration the maintenance and you know setting up parameters and and different stuffs that are there when your servers are migrated and they are there up and running on cloud so how is their performance assessing the performance and a lot more these are the things that a cloud admin does okay so if we look at this thing that whether this role is given to freshers or not then this role is a bit uh, you know given to more experienced people rather than just stream freshers uh, because uh, it is something that is on cloud and you need to maintain so you need to have the basic knowledge it's generally not really uh, given to college freshers it is actually given to people who have at least one or two years of experience so generally people with uh, two to five years of experience or people who are about to make their first switch these are the kind of people who can actually aim for becoming a cloud administrator the amount of coding that is required for this job is very less, very minimal. So if you're someone who is not willing to do any coding or who do not, who is not confident about uh, your coding skills, then you can definitely uh, opt in for becoming a cloud administrator. Uh, if you talk about the average salary that a cloud administrator gets is between 10 to 15 lakh. Next role that we have is that of a cloud engineer. Now what a cloud engineer does is he knows all the inside out of cloud. The technical, uh, the technical knowledge of a cloud engineer is something that is great. He or she is responsible for creating the pipelines and you know how a server should be migrated, when it should be migrated, when it is on cloud, then how should it be performing? And you know all the technical issues. Something if something goes wrong, then who should we approach? Then a cloud engineer is someone who uh, comes into action and who is responsible for the proper functioning of your cloud landscape. If you, if an application is developed and if an application is put on cloud and it's not performing as per expected, what is wrong and uh, what changes should be done? And all of these things are looked into by a cloud engineer. So does a cloud engineer need to have a lot of coding knowledge? Yes, uh, the coding knowledge for a cloud engineer needs to be very high because he is uh, the person who is in charge of this in-depth knowledge of what is running on cloud and how it is running and if it's not running as per expected why is it not running so all the in-depth knowledge of any application is with the cloud engineer so he or she knows what is being developed how it is being developed or how something needs to be developed and stuff like that so a cloud engineer is also a role that is actually not really given to freshers. It is uh, kept in store for someone um, more experienced than freshers. So people having three to five years of experience are those pe are the people who get into the role of cloud engineer. And if we look at the average salary that is provided to a cloud engineer is somewhere around 15 to 20 LPA. This is also a role which uh, requires a high amount of coding. So if you're someone who wants to develop a career, you can start off with, you know, going, becoming a cloud developer at first and then becoming a cloud engineer. You can take this track. Next in line, we have the DevOps engineer. So before we go into what a DevOps engineer is, I want to uh, explain this word to you. If you look into this word, it's dev and ops, that is development and operations. So a DevOps engineer is someone who is responsible for, you know, both the development and operation bit. A DevOps engineer is responsible for creating a CI CD pipeline. When I say CI CD, these are all cloud terms. Uh, the basic meaning CI means continuous integration, CD means continuous delivery. So uh, creation of CI CD pipelines is the major uh, job or responsibility of a DevOps engineer and he or she is responsible for building these pipelines and deploying these pipelines and uh, when I say pipeline what it means is creating a design of what which uh, if it is an application which part should be built first which part should be installed and deployed first tested first and then what should be tested next and all of this pipeline and, and after designing this pipeline you need to work in accordance with that plan that you have designed and that is the job of a DevOps engineer so if we talk about the level of coding that is required uh, then yes a very high amount of coding and a high knowledge of 
coding is required uh, i would not say that a devops engineer needs to code every time but uh, you know for developing anything or for developing this pipeline of you know the flow the algorithm he or she needs to know how the application should function and for that knowledge uh, he might not be the person who's writing the code but he he needs to understand and he needs to have that knowledge and that is why the level of coding or the level of understanding of the code should be very high for a devops engineer anyone who's a cloud engineer can become or can take the position of a devops engineer you can become a devops engineer only after you have completed you know 3 to 4 years of your journey on cloud and now you are someone who has 3 to 4 years of experience and now you are making your switch then you can think of becoming a devops engineer whether a fresher can apply or can become a devops engineer the answer is a straight no because uh, only because this role can be very challenging and it requires a lot of understanding not just of the technology on which the code is built but also of the cloud because there are different uh, because you have to take into consideration a lot of factors while building those pipelines so you need to know all of, about it hence it is not really recommended for freshers uh, and uh, only experienced people having some or maybe even some more experience of cloud are uh, suggested to go and become a devops engineer now how much does a devops engineer earn or expect to get a salary of a devops engineer can be from 30 to 35 lakh next role that we have in the cloud domain is of the cloud security professional or the people who are responsible for the security bit of cloud now you know how essential it is that you you have put or someone has put all of their information their inside information information about their uh, financial data and information about their customers and information about their uh, staff and everyone all the kind of information that is there they are stored it on cloud so you know how essential it becomes uh, to secure this kind of data so the domain of a cloud security professional is one of the most sought after domains and one of the most i would say uh, difficult domains because of the criticality of this field uh, as a cloud security professional this role actually involves you know either providing security to your uh, your own organization or to the customer so these uh, cloud security professionals actually are in touch with the cloud developers or the app developers that are there and they work in accordance with uh, the cloud developers and the level of coding that is required for a cloud security professional is a bit less they actually take people with two or three years of experience but freshers are also welcome so uh, you can dream of becoming a cloud security professional if you are someone who is scared of coding and who does not want to pursue coding for the next uh, for the rest of his lifetime earning potential that is there for a cloud professional uh, for a cloud security professional is somewhere around 5 to 10 lakhs when you are a beginner and then uh, as i said the security bit is one of the most important bit for uh, any uh, customer any client so average salary also keeps on increasing cloud architect or the cloud solution architect now this is one of the most sought after uh, departments and one of uh, and anyone who is on cloud sometimes or other wants to become a cloud solution architect a cloud solution architect is a uh, an IT professional who is uh, responsible for designing the cloud infrastructure for a client and you know the client just says that okay we want this thing in our cloud landscape and the solution architect actually knows that by using which functionality of cloud can this thing be achieved so that is how much of expertise and experience and knowledge is it is needed to become a cloud architect a cloud architect is expected to know each and everything you know inside out of that cloud platform and also you know whatever new features are keeping on uh, are adding on day in day out in that cloud uh, an architect is the one person who should be updated with the latest to the latest of cloud whatever is there for that particular cloud and he should be knowing which functionality to use when for which requirement what needs to be done and uh, if it's not done then what will be the pros or what will be the cons and everything about it so uh, this requires a very detailed in depth knowledge of the cloud platform which is acquired only if you work on that cloud platform for at least 5 to 10 years so yeah uh, if you want to become a cloud solution architect you need to work on that cloud platform for at least 5 to 10 years before you become a cloud solution architect and uh, the average salary is typically i would say the highest for a cloud uh, solution architect he is expected to get an average salary of around 40 to 45 lakh per annum uh, and this is just the basic or the starting figures it keeps on increasing and i've also heard uh, figures as high as 60 or 80 lakh for a cloud solution architect so that is how much this field can actually give you but it requires a lot and lot and lot of knowledge just to get into this field so the last but not the least is that of a cloud product manager this is one role which is specific to only those organizations which are actually building their cloud so you know uh, places such as amazon microsoft google or oracle or ibm so the people who are providing the cloud service providers that are there those people who are providing this cloud they know that they, this is a product or this is an offering that we are giving so what they need to do how this product can be improved or what are the additional features they need to get uh, they need to give or you know what is the performance how can the performance be 
be improved and a lot more what are the issues that uh, people are facing while using their cloud and a lot more so a cloud product engineer has to know it all and has to know or has to come out with a solution as well of how they can actually increase uh, the reliability the sustainability of their cloud of their product actually the amount of uh, coding that a cloud product engineer does is actually very less you need to you know continuously go on for with industry and uh, market research what is uh, what is new in the market and what needs to be inculcated what needs to be removed all of those kind of things are the uh, job that a cloud product manager should be aware of and should be doing our product manager is a person who needs to have at least uh, six to ten years of experience and uh, people who are highly experienced on cloud and who know about it uh, very you know nicely and in depth only th those can become a cloud product manager also this is one role that is not in all organizations it's not in uh, service based organizations it's, it is only there with the uh, product based organizations and only those product based organizations that are offering their pro their cloud as their product but this is one thing that has lesser number of jobs as compared because not every organization is providing you their cloud the average salary that a cloud product uh, manager gets is somewhere around 30 to 40 lpa uh, this is also again this is the starting salary and it can vary and it does vary actually it goes on uh, high up till 50 to 60 lakh as well so this is all about the different cloud roles that are there in this video i've tried to give you all the uh, details about how much you can earn and how much experience is needed and how much coding is needed and everything so uh, i hope that by watching this video after watching this video rather you will be able to make a better decision as to which is the one cloud role that you want yourself to do and uh, you have decided that all the best to all of you who want to pursue your career in cloud it's very good up here and uh, that's all that i have for you in today's video if you have any other comments queries doubts questions suggestions put them down in the comment section if you have liked this video put a thumbs up if you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe keep watching career q until next time take care bye bye